I thought John Kennedy was uh, among an awful lot of politicians I've known and, and many I've admired. I thought John Kennedy was a, a shining light. Uh, first of all, it was his intelligence, his command of issues, his willingness to dedicate himself to find answers to difficult problems, his willingness to address tough problems. Um, of course, it was in part his attractiveness. He was uh, articulate, tough-minded, and had with it that great sense of humor, uh, the ability to laugh at himself and with others. Um, I thought he was a complete politician. Now, clearly, looking back on it, there were flaws. And, Um, and there have been enough books written about those. But I, uh, I don't think I've seen a politician like him since. On the day he died, I was uh, in the office at the Tennessean. I was editor. And uh, Rocky Sullivan came in from the Associated Press. I can't remember with whom I was talking. I think it was Ed Freeman, the, the managing editor, and, and maybe Wayne Whit. But we were talking about some local story, and Rocky came in, and he'd torn just a strip off the, off the AP wire machine. And he said, and you know, it was, he was worried about being rude, in a, interrupting some conversation about it, about the news plans for the day. And he said, John, excuse me, but I think you need to read this. And it was the bullet. And I looked at it, and I don't know why, but I just became uh, terribly angry. And I said, Rocky, if this is somebody's idea of a joke, it's sick. And he choked up and said, John, I wish it was. And of course, within seconds, I had television sets in the office on it and followed it. Um, throughout the next few hours. I remember at some point my wife came in and uh, and uh, just sat there. I'm not sure I played much role in getting out the paper the next day. The thing I remember most about uh, those couple of days was how all of us were just welded to the television set. And, uh, it, you know, it was, it was a difficult, difficult time for the country and uh, 